What is up guys, welcome in. My name is Nick and welcome to the channel. Welcome back to Forza Motorsport and we are at Spa in a very inclement weather. It said dry, uh, but it's put me on wets. So I don't honestly know how we're starting this one. We're just gonna leave it on wets for the moment, but who knows, we might end up shredding these relatively quickly. Um, but yeah, it's basically it's the start of the new GT2 lobbies and uh, we're taking out the Porsche 911 RSR for this one. So as you can hear, the bleeps have started, so let's get to it. Right, as always guys, thank you very much to all of my channel members. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. Feeling a bit more confident in my choice of wet tyres now, but not so much in the fact I don't have uh, traction control on. So yeah, this could prove costly. Who knows? We're just gonna be a red gingerly into turn one here. And squeezed all the way onto the outside of the track there by the BMW. Yeah, practice was bone dry. The race was advertised as overcast on the start menu, but here we are in the rain, so who knows? Oh, uh, yeah, just about keeping her on. Oh, is there going to be any murder death down the camel straight like there normally is? A little bit of argy bargy. There's a lot of argy bargy. Just going to try and navigate my way through. Some guy going, fucking send it, bro. Why not? Dodge Viper, of course it is. Why wouldn't it? Why would it be anything else? I swear, Viper drivers in this game are a breed unto their own. Well, okay. Yep. I thought I got caught out by the Viper and then the guy jumps up the inside. I couldn't adjust my line quick enough. But nothing really became of it, so that's fine. Kind of a nothing collision. No penalty, nothing. Steady, steady. There we go. Right, P13. Up onto another gaggle of cars again. And are we getting sent by that Ferrari? Oh, giving that bike just enough room around the outside. He ran out of road off the right hand side there. If my earpiece could stay in, that would be amazing. There we go. I don't think that's going to stay either, but anyway. So now comes the question of how much grip do I have? I'm going to assume not much. That was the correct answer. And now let's try and spot the breaking point here. Let's go there. I would say that was pretty much Bob on. Right, P11 by the end of the first lap. So we've made up eight places. Massive gaggle of cars here. Kind of hoping they get a bit of a shift on. This BMW is definitely not getting a shift on. There we go, should have the overspeed now. Perfect. Someone's following us through, it's a Corvette. Very close racing at this point, must be said. Normally people have spread out a bit more, but it's kind of nice to see. And it's a whole load of different cars as well, which is also really good to see in terms of balancing. This uh, Corvette's getting pretty feisty behind me. Bit wide, he's gonna be up the inside of me here. 
Managed to keep it relatively pointed. There's a little bit of a safety lift. It's a long side. Oh, yeah, no, I'm still there, mate. Still there. Other than that slight little contact, which was just inconsequential. Uh, okay, that was a little bit of a brown moment there. Uh, that was pretty good. A couple of corners side by side. No real intent of any murder death. So, cash on the back of another Corvette. Again, not, no, not knowing grip, assuming not much. Another position made there. This uh, Herrick behind me is, uh, or Henrik, sorry, behind me is uh, not giving me any form of sort of leeway or breathing room. going to lift out of that because I don't really want the penalty. What? Okay, I'll lift off with that completely, but okay. I'll let Henrik free. Yeah. He had the same thing as me. We both had a moment there. Come on, man. You're barely moving. Pitting at the end of this, that by the looks of the tyres. Halfway through the race, so it would make sense. I don't know if we're going to get a dry and race or not. Doesn't, I mean, it's not very dark out, is it? But who knows? We're not going to have enough tyres left to do another lap after this, I don't think, anyway. So that's sort of kind of the, the key factor. there. Feel love tap. Oh, he appears to be struggling on his tyres a fair bit. Don't really want to do this move coming into this corner. That's probably going to be another penalty. No? Okay. Everyone in the pits, I'm guessing. Line of stern. Yep, yeah, come on. Yep, yeah, pretty much the entire lobby pitting at the end of this lap. So if anyone needs fuel, they're going to lose out a little bit. Go for another set of wets. Way more fuel than we need. A whole extra lap's worth of fuel. Pretty much everyone coming out of the order they went in. Although, we got back in front of Henrik. I think... No, no, we haven't. Have we? I have no idea. No, number 40. We were behind it, weren't we? Yes, it's uh, KSK is the guy we've got in front of. Defensive. Is it going to be enough? No, I'm still there. I didn't move from my line. I was still. I stayed in the middle of the track. Whoa! 
whoa, whoa, whoa. Probably weaving about all over the place, making it very difficult to figure out where he's going to be. And doing so, he messes up his entry into the corner, and we get the position anyway. So, P8. Pretty good run through there. Henrik matched me through all of it though. Looks like he was able to keep it flat through there as well. Gonna go defensive. Just park it on the apex. No way of cutting back. There we go. Don't know how he's able to keep that flat through there in the wet. He'll love tap once again. I think we're just going to be outside of toe for the Viper ahead. Henrik very much in my toe though. Too far back to make a lunge. Whoa, too deep. Let me slow through here. Right, Henrik seems to have made a mistake as well. Viper running wide. Oh, someone's had a massive moment. Please don't rejoin there. Please don't rejoin there. Thank you. Shit, sorry Viper, that's my bad. He braked really early there. Just caught me out. Not your fault, was my fault. Viper has a moment. Oh, weaving. Weaving, weaving is always dangerous. Okay, just, I couldn't hold it flat, but I just didn't break. Right, that's P6. With one to go. We need to be 0.5 behind the guy ahead, and we are going to get that position through penalty. Guy behind's got a 1.7 second penalty as well, so if we do end up dropping time to him, then uh, we just need to be close. He's going to be past me before we even get down the end of the camel straight at this rate. I've got a big bout of sort of aquaplane-y, oversteer -y stuff coming into the bottom of Eau Rouge. About to break a bit more than I would like to. Good run through there though.
Oh, no, don't want to be on the grass. Uh, it's going to be a penalty, probably. 0.4 of a second for a... Oh, for a few inches. You can fuck right off, game. Oh, that's brutal. Well, we now need to overtake this guy to get his position. Or be a gnat's hair away from him crossing the line, one of the two. Okay, we'll just pass him. That'll work. Oh, yeah, I did kind of park it on the apex there, but that was the whole point. It was not getting past me into that cutback. Uh, we scrape P4 with a couple of corners to go. Oh, P4. What? Hang on. Wait. Huh? P5. Yeah, P5. Yes, we were in P6, weren't we? Sorry. Yes. It was great P5 with, uh, like, two corners to go. Oh, that was that was tough. That was uh, interesting and tough and fun. But, yeah, we managed to bring home P5. Gained uh, 15 places from P20, even though it was 20, 21 when we were on the grid. One person obviously didn't make it to the start of the race. And there we go guys, P5 in the fantastic BPM livery, if I do say so myself, as I am the one who designed it. There we go guys, P5 confirmed, apologies, uh, something went a bit weird just then. Uh, but yes, uh, pretty good race, I enjoyed that one. Um, if you did enjoy this one as well, why not check out the uh, last GT3 race that we did around Watkins Glen, which was... Uh, uh, an interesting one as well it was a good good fight good fight in that one but yes th uh, thank you very much for watching if you have made it this far please do press the subscribe button and uh, i will catch you in the next one cheers